Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the tweet from Mark Bainoff, if I'm saying that correctly, the CEO of Salesforce. On February 8th, he has been tweeting out about Einstein GPT. And in the English version here, it says, CRM just got a whole lot smarter with the new Salesforce Einstein GPT. No more boring reports. Now it'll write them for you with the jokes included. Now, what does this mean? Now, March 7th is Trailblazer DX, and it looks like they're going to be doing this announcement on March 7th at the event. There has been a lot of speculation out there on what they're talking about. Is this going to be an extension of Einstein's native search? Is this going to be an integration between OpenAI's chat GPT? But what we do know is Einstein was originally... And, you know, put out for Salesforce in 2016. Um, if you've played with Einstein Search, I mean, it's a pretty cool feature they have within Salesforce using natural language search and other features. From my understanding, they had to acquire a few companies to get the technology to do this back then. So it's really interesting to see what's been going on behind the scenes and how we're going to enter, how they're going to integrate this into Einstein GPT. If it is open AI, is it their own? artificial intelligence, like a new artificial intelligence that we're going to be using here in Salesforce. But it is interesting. I mean, taking a look at the tweet more, you know, a little more in depth is saying, you know, CRM just got a whole lot smarter with the new Salesforce Einstein GPT. So it's saying no more boring reports. Now it'll write them for you with jokes included. So what does that mean in the search bar? Maybe we can get more specific results as if, you know, it, it'll write the report out for you. If you're looking for it, uh, maybe in the search bar, you put, please give me a, an accounts report with active contacts. Will it be able to generate that report for us? I don't know. And based on the other information I'm seeing, there's so much speculation from everybody in the industry on what this means. It's highly anticipated. We're about, a, you know, a little less than a month away from the official announcement. And what's kind of interesting about this whole marketing hype up thing that's going on is that the tweet is out in different languages, right? And they actually say a little bit different things. So, for, you know, we've already looked at the English version and I'm using Google Translate here. So we have the French version here, which translates to introducing Salesforce Einstein GPT, the CRM that knows your customers better than you do and can even predict their next move. Let's talk about strategy. So that sounds like sales cloud to me, but it could be anything. I, I don't really know, but it, I'm not necessarily going to go through each of the different languages that he they've translated this into and, and you know dig into it. But as you can see, as you scroll on his Twitter, I mean, there there's so many different ones and they may say the same things they may not but either way it's super interesting and i'm excited to learn more about this and you know i think i mean ai is the future whether we want it or not and if you want to stay ahead of the curve it's best to start learning the technology now to be an early adopter and be able to use it to our advantage but for the second part of this video i thought it would be actually kind of fun to ask chat GPT a couple of questions and I've already got logged in and ready to go. So the first thing I'm going to ask it is, is Salesforce and chat GPT partnering up? All right, let's see what it says. So as this writing here, you can see it says as a language model, it doesn't have information on any partnership between Salesforce and OpenAI. So it says it is possible that Salesforce is integrating OpenAI's language models into their platform to enhance its natural language processing capabilities and provide more advanced customer service through chatbots. However, I do not have information on any specific partnerships between the two companies. Well, that's kind of that was kind of interesting. So not, I was hoping maybe we get like some insider info there. Maybe ChatGPT would do something it's not supposed to. But we'll see. Maybe. Uh, Maybe that's what they're going to refer to, and we'll see what maybe we'll get more natural language search models. Now, I'm going to ask it what Einstein GPT is. Maybe it knows what it is. We'll see. Let's see what happens. All right, we'll see what it says. All right, so this is interesting. It says Einstein's GPT is not a well known or established term in the AI community, GPT, usually referred to OpenAI's general pre chain transformer. And it goes on to say here, um, Einstein is a brand name used by Salesforce for its AI platform that provides various AI powered features and services such as predictive analysis and natural language processing. And then it says it is possible that Einstein GPT is a term used internally at Salesforce to refer to the integration of OpenAI's GPT technology into their Einstein platform. 
However, I do not have any official information on this, and it could be just a hypothetical term. Oh, that's pretty interesting. So um, it looks like we may have to wait to March 7th to find out more info. If there is more information that comes out in the interim, I'll be sure to make a video about it. If you enjoyed this different style video, please leave a like so I know to make more videos like this in the future. And make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video.